Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Jean. Thank you so much for stopping by to watch today's video. If you are new here and you love handbags as much as I do, please consider subscribing and tapping that little notification bell down below to be notified when I upload new content. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you for your continued support and it's nice to see you again. Today's video is all about one of my most favorite bags, the Speedy. And as the title says, I'm going to be going through several Speedy alternatives. I probably have about 14 or 15 in this video. Um, so after the introduction, I'm going to take you through a series of different websites from different brands showing bags that to me are very Speedy-like in terms of look and functionality. Uh, the reason I decided to do this video, as I said, this is one of my absolutely most favorite everyday bags. It is the perfect everyday bag. I love it so much. I poo-pooed this bag for a long time, as I said in other videos, you know, oh, it's basic. Everybody has it. It's so boring. Well, when everybody has something, there's a reason why, or seemingly everybody has something, there's a reason why, because it is a great functional bag. I absolutely love this. This is in the 25 size. Um, the Speedy does come in several different sizes from the Nano, which is teeny tiny. Then we have the 20. And when, when I say numbers, I mean length of the bag. So we have the 20, the 25, which is this one. It's 25 centimeters in length. Then you have the 30, 35, and 40. I thought they had a 45. They may have and may have discontinued it because they have the keep all 45. But currently they have six different sizes of this bag. The classic, which most people see, are the canvas options. So this is in, of course, the monogram canvas. It also comes in the Damier Abin, which is the like brown chocolate checkered pattern and the Damier Azure, which is the white and blue checkered pattern. Um, and in addition to that, they always have limited special edition canvas prints. They have leather options. So when you consider alone all the different sizes, the different canvas prints, the different leathers, there is a whole slew of options for the Speedy Bag at Louis Vuitton. One of the other options is whether it's just a regular Speedy or it's a Speedy Bandelier. Bandelier just means simply shoulder strap. So I have the 25 in the bandolier. The regular version does not have a shoulder strap and therefore it doesn't have a D-ring here. It doesn't have the vaquetta strap on the side. This is to reinforce the shoulder strap so it doesn't ruin the bag. So you've got the different canvas prints, the leathers, the different sizes, and now you have one with a shoulder strap and one option without a shoulder strap. So there's a speedy for everyone out there. One thing I want to add really quickly is if you do not have the bandolier version, so you do not have the shoulder strap, do not hook a shoulder strap here and here on the reverse side to make it a shoulder bag. These gussets here are not meant, are they gussets? Is that what you call them? I can't remember, but they are not, they are meant to have the weight evenly spread amongst the four of them. If you put shoulder straps on, all the weight's going to be on two of them and that could damage your bag. So with that, the reason I decided to do this video is not everyone likes Louis Vuitton. Not everyone wants to spend Louis Vuitton money. Um, so I wanted to present some alternatives from not only other luxury brands, but also contemporary brands as well with an array of different price points to help somebody see that these different options exist. So if you want the look and the functionality of a Speedy Bag, but you don't like Vuitton or you don't wanna pay Vuitton prices, you can get that with another brand. So we're gonna go through those. And as we go through those, I'm going to mainly show alternatives to the 20, 
25 and 30 because I believe those are the best everyday sizes. The Nano is just too tiny. It really doesn't hold anything. Um, and the thir 35 and 40, in my opinion, are just too big for everyday bags. So as I go through these, um, we're gonna have prices along with them because I'll be showing you these bags on their websites or the real real if it's discontinued um, but the prices will be shown along the way so I want to give the prices of these different speedy options so the 20 size only comes in the bandolier option there's no non bandolier option so the 20 in the canvas is $2,030 the 25 without the shoulder strap retails for $1,490. With the shoulder strap, $1,820. So you're paying $330 more to have a bag with the shoulder strap. For me, it was necessity because I like the option of either carrying a top handle or over the shoulder. Smaller people can get a crossbody also. The 30 without the bandolier is $1,550, and the 30 with the bandolier is $1,890, so $340 more than the 30 without the shoulder strap. Now, this is my only Speedy. I am by no means done with the Speedy bag, and I'll talk a little bit, well, much later on in this video about the Speedies that I want to get. Um, so I would appreciate it if you stayed for the entire video. I have a slew of options. Um, as always, I would love to hear your thoughts below, what you like, what you don't like, and if you have any alternatives that I have not mentioned. So with that, let's take it away. So first up, we have the Celine Boston bag. It comes in leather, it comes in canvas, and it comes in textile print as well. They also have this vertical Boston bag, um, but the ones I'm going to focus on are the two in canvas over here. Basically, it appears to me they have the sizes of the 20 or 30. So with the 20, so this is comparable to the Speedy 20, it is in that Triumph canvas um, trimmed in calfskin with a textile lining. So you can see it's very similar to the Louis Vuitton Speedy 20 and the fact that it has a canvas body and leather trimming, leather strap, and leather handles. Like the Speedy 20, the zipper does extend slightly around the sides to make for easier access. But the hardware looks really beautiful on this. You can see the Celine branding um, right under the uh, shoulder strap attachment there. And then it's got the double C logo for, um, or I guess monogram as I like to say, uh, for Celine. And then it has this really uh, nice looking interior that contains uh, one flap pocket. It looks like there might be normally other color options. I'm not hugely familiar with Celine, but it is one of the top brands on my radar, specifically the 16 bag, I think it's called, but it looks like at one time there may have been different color options. Then we go back and we look at the 30 size. So again, this is comparable to the Speedy 30, but unlike the Vuitton bag, the Celine bag does have that extended zipper down the sides for easier access. And like the Vuitton bag, it comes with a padlock, um, but the Vuitton bag does not come with a clochette to hold your keys, and the Celine bag does. So it looks like we have a beautiful lock there and beautiful uh, leather on this bag. Um, I think it looks beautiful. It's definitely not for me. I prefer the Vuitton monogram, certainly over the Celine monogram, but for those of you that don't like uh, the Louis Vuitton monogram or the Abin or the Azure Prince. Um, this might be uh, an option for you. Now, one thing of interest is I don't see the price on here. Let's go back and check the 20 size and see if there's a price. I saw 
prices when I was looking on my phone. I will try to find them and insert them. But Speedy Replacement Celine Boston Bag might be a good option for you. So next up, we have a bag that's definitely on my radar, and that is the Far, Far La Page, hope I said that right, uh, Dream Bag. So they do have this bag in several sizes. From the big duffels, you see the 55 and the 47 here. And for those of you that don't know, what 47 means, it's the length of the bag from uh, tip to tip is 47 centimeters. So they have the big duffel bags and then they have a couple smaller uh, everyday bags, I should say. So they have the 21 and the 19. So right on the either side of the speedy 20, um, the 19 would be a centimeter smaller and the 21 would be a centimeter bigger. Um, you can see the prices here are 1710 for the 21 and 1600 for the 19. I definitely do have my eye on the 21. I do want something from Far La Page. Um, I think it's a great brand and I know the quality is superb. Um, so I've had this brand on my radar for a long time. I haven't pulled the trigger yet, but I am definitely considering the Dream Bag 21. So it does come in two colors. You can see here uh, the blue canvas uh, with the, the scale pattern. So like the Vuitton bag, it's a, a canvas bag with a leather trim. And then they also just have the gray scale, which to me looks more black. And I'm not a black bag person at all. So I definitely would like to get uh, this blue bag here. I do love the yellow color trim here. I think that's unique. Other unique features of this bag to me are the side pockets. There's a side pouch on this side here, which you could certainly put things for easy access. And then I'm not actually sure. It looks like you have a little slip pocket here. I'm not sure if these buttons open up or not, um, but it, it's different than the Speedy in that sense is that not everything has to be stored in your bag. Actually, what is this over here on the left? It's definitely not a slip pocket. Maybe it's just another easy grab, but there is this, uh, the zipper pocket on the right side here, and it does have a thick shoulder strap, which I'm not too crazy about, um, but I could live with that. But as I want to expand my brands and really move on, in a sense, from Louis Vuitton and not have so much of my collection be one brand, um, this is definitely a bag I am eyeing. Um, so it says the width here is 22 centimeters, even though it's called uh, the 21. Um, so it is comparable in size to the Speedy uh, 20. Um, this page doesn't appear to have much more information um, on the bag, but Far La Page is known for their high quality and craftsmanship, and I absolutely love their price point. This is cheaper than the Speedy 20 bag, and it has uh, the same functionality, perhaps a little bit more with that exterior pocket. So the next two I have for you are both from Michael Kors. Um, first, we have the medium monogram zip satchel bag. I could not find this on the Mar Michael Kors website, but it did come up on Neiman Marcus. I've seen it before. I've seen it in the MK monogram print. This looks like it has a different type. Oh, it's just directed on a diagonal there. You can see the MKs. Uh, usually I've seen it with the traditional MK monogram print. It is comparable to this Speedy 30. Um, I believe it's about a centimeter shorter, um, but there you can see um, some of the details, the top zip closure. One unique feature is two exterior slip pockets, um, and then on the interior it has a zip and a uh, slip pocket as well. 
Um, it is in the monogram pattern as I've seen. It does have the flat top handles here, which I definitely think are not as nice as the Speedy or the other alternatives I've shown that have the rounded top handles and those are extremely comfortable to carry. I absolutely love those top handles. They are my favorite top handles because of how comfortable it is. There you can see one of the exterior slip pockets here. Uh, so it looks like it does attach to the bag as well, which I think is interesting. Um, to me, this fabric interior doesn't look extremely nice. I don't like the seam down the middle, um, but it's definitely an adequate bag for a speedy alternative. And you can see here, it does come in another colorway as well. And there is this decorative hang tag uh, there. Uh, so if you're looking for a really inexpensive alternative to the speedy, um, this looks like a fine bag to me. Um, like I said, I'm not a Michael Kors fan. I will never buy Michael Kors, um, but I can certainly understand the appeal of it uh, being more affordable than other higher end brands. To me, Michael Kors rips off other designs, um, tweaks them a little bit, and, and he's not the only one. You know, obviously I'm showing you speedy alternatives, so everybody um, does it, but I just don't see a lot of originality in Michael Kors. Um, the next option, I'm sorry, I didn't give the price. Uh, you probably saw it, but it's $298. So definitely cheaper than, you know, a speedy 30 with the bandolier. I, I should have looked up the price ahead of time, but that is going to be over 2000 The other cores options here are the Grayson satchel. It looks like we have three different sizes here. The large is attributable to a 50. Um, the medium is a 30 and the small, um, I didn't look at this ahead of time and do my conversions. So bear with me for a second. Hey Siri, what's 7.25 inches in centimeters? It's 18.42 centimeters. Okay. So the small is comparable to the speedy 20. Um, it is, uh, let me see if I can see, I don't know what these materials mean here, but it does not look like there is uh, canvas, sorry for the jerkiness. It does not look like there is canvas or leather on the main body of the bag at all. So I'm really, I'm not versed in materials, but it does have the MKs on it. Uh, this one is in silver. And you can see here, they have many different colors and the price points, 298 for the medium, 258 for the small, and 458 for the large. So again, we're looking at a much lower price point. Um, again, the same non-circular top handles there, um, a similar interior. Again, I hate the seam in the middle of the interior. Um, but, you know, this does look like a fairly nice bag for somebody that just doesn't want to spend or just can't afford to buy a, a speedy uh, bag. So another good alternative is uh, these two Michael Kors bags. The next option is the Burberry bowling bag. Now, this is a bag that is sort of on my radar. I've always wanted a bag with that classic Burberry plaid print on it. Um, and these are, are very speedy like bags. We have it in three different colorways here, as well as two different sizes, the mini and the medium. The medium is more so your 30 size and the mini is just under the size of the speedy 20. So I do think this bag is beautiful. It does have the clochette. And one of the really interesting things to me here is, is the placement of the lock. I love this. There's a separate area here 
for uh, us to store our locks, unlike Louis Vuitton, where if you don't have them dangling from the zipper, you really have to have them inside. I just don't carry mine at all, but the zipper pull here, unlike the Speedy, um, well, I should say the Speedy Bandolier, uh, because the regular non-Bandolier Speedies only have one zipper across the top, the Bandoliers have two, um, but when you lock the bandolier zipper, you pull it together and lock it. There's a tab on the non-bandolier, much like this, but the Louis Vuitton tab is over here on the side. But, whoa, sorry. But I do like that you have the lock on the exterior here and a place for it. And then you swivel the zipper pull over and lock it into... Uh, the top part of where the lock is currently connected. So I think that's a really good feature there. I would assume that there would be a key in here. And unlike other clochettes, it does have a key ring on the other side of it. So you could theoretically attach some keys there as well, which I wouldn't do. I wouldn't like the look of it. Honestly, I'm not crazy about the look of this clochette as it is because of that ring being on there. I would wanna take it off. You might be able to. Um, it might be a traditional key ring where you could potentially slide it off, but I have not seen this bag in person, uh, so I am not sure. Um, it does look like you can get your initials engraved on the bag, and there you see a model wearing the bag and different angles of the bag, but it definitely has those rounded top handles that I love with the Speedy. And like the Vuitton bags, the zipper does not go down over the sides. And to me, that's never been a problem. Um, but I know for others, they do feel it's a tight fit. Uh, there you see it from the sides, very, very much um, like the Louis Vuitton Speedy bag. So I do like the different options. I think this green here is quite pretty. Um, I would probably go for the standard checker board, um, but I do want to have a trifecta of the speedies. I want the 25s uh, bandolier in the Azure and the Abine, so I have all three. Plus, I want a 30 non bandolier version um, with with uh, in the monogram print. So this is not on my list any longer because the Far La Page bag would be the alternative speedy for me right now. But I am, oops, I am in a withholding period on that bag because uh, there are just other things on my wish list. Two options I have today are from Coach. And they're both equivalent to the Speedy 25. There are also different sizes of both of these bags as well. Um, so you can search uh, the Coach site or the Coach Outlet site for the size that works for you. I should say though that with the Ruby Satchel 25, uh, the first one I'm showing here on the screen, it says sold out. Um, I'm not sure if this bag has been discontinued um, or it's just sold out and coming back. Um, I did not find this bag on the Coach Outlet site either, um, but I did do a quick search on the pre-loved market, and it looks like you can get one of these from $400 to $600 range. Um, I do think uh, as far as Coach goes, this is probably the best speedy alternative. So again, the one here is in the 25 size, it does, similar to the Speedy, have its jacquard canvas here, um, but the Coach one is uh, lined on the sides with leather, and its zipper does extend down further than the Speedy. It also comes with the shoulder strap and has those nice rounded handles that I love so much. It also has feet on it, which the Speedy does not. Uh, it looks to have a nice fabric interior, and you can see uh, the zip extensions allow for a pretty wide opening on the mouth. Um, this is their standard uh, jacquard canvas printing uh, with the double C's there. 
Um, you've probably all seen this everywhere uh, before, um, but this is a nice bag. I'm not a fan of the Coach Monogram print. Um, these do come in leather and different colors. Um, the leather ones would, of course, be more expensive, but um, you can do a search of the pre-loved market, and I think this is a really great alternative. I do think Coach's quality and craftsmanship is much superior to that of Michael Kors, which was the other option that I had on here. Um, so this would be your really best bet for a less expensive, speedy alternative. Uh, the next option at Coach I did find on the outlet, and this is the Rowan Satchel. They also have it in different colors, uh, different sizes, and this at $159 is really, really inexpensive. Now, with Coach, you have to be careful because some or many, I believe, of their bags that are on the outlet side are made specifically for the outlet, so they do not have the quality and craftsmanship of the boutique bags, so you really have to understand what you're buying. You can see here it says 60% off. Is it really 60% off? That's kind of the gimmick here. They make you think you're getting such a great deal in the outlets, but you're getting a product. I'm not sure on this one here. If somebody knows Coach and can comment below, that would be really helpful. But if this is not a boutique bag, they have you thinking you're saving 60% when you're really not because it was never over $300 to begin with. Um, but this very much does look like the Speedy. Again, it has the extended zipper. It does have an exterior zip pocket, uh, which the Speedy, of course, does not have. I am glad it doesn't. I feel it would ruin the aesthetic of the Speedy to have a zipper pocket. But the Rowan does come in, uh, there you can see it in a dark burgundy, uh, black there, uh, some nice turquoise there. So it does come in a variety of colors and these colorways are even cheaper. Um, so you can save even more money. Um, now, I don't know the quality difference between a Coach Outlet bag and the Michael Kors. Um, that would be something to consider researching because these are definitely cheaper than the Michael Kors alternative, but again, I don't know what the quality difference is there. So uh, this one is in the gold khaki with the double C's, the metal coach there, then coaches hang tags, which I absolutely hate. I think they just cheapen the bags so much. If they wanted to have something decorative, they should have stayed with the clochettes which they used to do because their clochettes were actually really nice and really high quality. Um, to me, the hang tags cheap in the bags. Uh, it's just got that cheap linky thing connecting it. I mean, I'm not going to be able to get in close enough here, but it just cheapens the bag in my opinion. And I have three coach rogues. Those hang tags, I don't even know where they are. Uh, but Coach should get back to doing the clochettes. But for a cheap alternative, this is a good option. So we have the MCM Boston bag. So they have a couple different options here. They have um, the, the, the small and medium, and they have leather and canvas. Um, the small over here is comparable to the Speedy 25. The medium here is comparable to the Speedy 30. So much like the Louis Vuitton bag, this bag is in canvas. And again, with the uh, leather trim, the leather shoulder strap, it does have a clochette. So I'm assuming it comes with a lock as well. And you can see just how far the zipper extends down on the sides, which is going to give you a really nice wide opening on that mouth. I am not too crazy about the the MCM print and the color, um, so this bag is definitely a no-go for me. 
um, but at a price point of $950, this is definitely way cheaper than a Speedy 30 with the bandolier. That's the shoulder strap, if I haven't said that. Um, but very similar to the Speedy rounded top handles. Um, you know, it's got the, the zipper, the lock, the interior pocket. Um, MCM did move from Germany to South Korea, which I didn't know um, until I watched a video from Jack's Bag Attack. Um, she had an MCM bag recently and she talked about that and I am just not really familiar with this brand. It has been on my radar, um, but I tend to approach bag buying now with thinking, is there a scenario where I would choose this bag over any of the bags I already have? And I don't think there's a scenario where I would choose this MCM over my Vuitton Speedy 25. So it's definitely a no-go for me. Um, but this could be, you know, an alternative uh, for others who don't like the Vuitton print or want to spend less. Now, one thing I'm curious about is I don't think this is leather either, actually, which I said... Um, when I first started showing you the MCM bags, that's got to be canvas for this price point. I can't imagine at $850 that this would be an all leather bag. And it does say uh, trim is uh, Napa leather. Um, so that makes me think that this is just not a all leather bag. It just can't be from the uh, price point. But um, again, you know, MCM is a great alternative, in my opinion, to Louis Vuitton. They do do a lot of bags in the canvas print. Um, and they're a good alternative. Again, not on my radar. Um, but if you like the speedy look and you want to spend half of what you will spend at Louis Vuitton, this could be a good alternative. Next option I have is sadly discontinued, but that is the Gucci Ophidia Boston bag. Um, this is something that would definitely be on my radar because I love Gucci, um, but it's sadly been discontinued. Um, and here we have one on the real reel. Uh, this is 10 inches, 10.75 inches in length. So that is comparable to the Speedy. 25 size but it's got the the gg print um the uh what do they call it the ophidia gg web print it interestingly has a uh, older version is that older it must be um of the double g's facing each other i you know i'm so new into this that i have seen this gucci double g's like facing each other uh, logo and I thought that was a newish logo but this has clearly been around for some time uh, because it's on this bag but very much like the Vuitton bag the zipper does not extend down it looks like it has a, a, a nice little charm there on the zipper pull and this is very very speedy like uh, perhaps the closest one uh, that I have seen so far that looks like really a spitting image of a Speedy, um, aside from obviously being Gucci uh, versus Louis Vuitton. Um, but this is a very nice bag, and I do believe they have different sizes of this bag as well, but you do have to hunt for it on the pre-loved market. What I get nervous about with the pre-loved market is getting something inauthentic. As I was filming this, I actually found another Gucci Boston bag on a different site that I'm not going to mention, but the price was so low that it led me to believe that maybe it was inauthentic. It was like in excellent condition and it was $500. And here you see this is in good condition and it's much more expensive. Um, so I'm always leery about shopping on the pre-loved market. But for those of you that love Gucci, hunting down a Boston bag would be the perfect alternative for you.
Another more affordable option is the Dooney & Burke All-Weather 3.0 Barrel Satchel 28. So the 28 is referencing the length. So this would be between the Speedy 25 and Speedy 30. And you can see it comes in a variety of colors and you get a 30% off discount code right now. So that's really gonna knock back that $448 uh, price point. I do love that this comes in a variety of different colors, um, giving you more options so you ha can have a color that's more unique to you. And if you are into multiples, you could pick up a few different colors of this bag for a relatively low price. I do think this little charm here with the Dooney and Burke duck that says all weather leather on it is cute as well as the uh, leather patch here with the duck logo and uh, the all weather lit wear oh, excuse me all weather leather is a nice touch too it looks like to be beautiful uh, grained leather with smooth leather trimming and smooth leather rounded handles again which i love the stitching on this bag looks great it also has the zipper extending about maybe a little less than halfway down the side to create that wide mouth we see over in the picture on the right and again it comes with a shoulder strap uh, making this a versatile bag uh, to be carried top handle or the crook of the arm as you can see there or over the shoulder or crossbody. Again, I'm not a master in quality, but I have had Dooney and Burke bags in the past and their quality has been really good. And for me, this would be probably my favorite of the less expensive speedy options just because of the multiple colors you get and knowing the quality and craftsmanship that goes into Dooney and Burke, and they really are amazing at creating a high, high quality, affordable product. I would certainly choose this over a coach made for outlet bag or a Michael Kors bag. Um, so I feel like this is a really great option for those of you that want the functionality of the Speedy for a fraction of the cost. The next two options are probably uh, from my favorite brand. As you can see, it's Dior. Um, if I was a woman, I would probably have almost all Dior bags. They're too feminine for me typically, um, but I just love this brand more than any other brand in terms of their bags, their clothes. Um, to me, I just, I put Dior above Hermes and Chanel in terms of creativity. Um, they certainly have unique and beautiful items with high craftsmanship and quality. Um, but I'm not going to get into all of that right now. I tend to just love to talk about Dior. Um, but I have two options for you, um, a current and a discontinued. So this current one is Lingo. I'm assuming that's how you say it with the T being silent in French. So this is a 26. So just a little bit longer than a speedy 25. This is in the men's collection. And I did look at this bag when I was in Paris and I decided not to get it because I just don't feel like I have much that would go with this CD pattern here. It's really more modern than the oblique which i'll show you in a second and that's why i decided against it but it is a stunningly beautiful bag it's got this gorgeous shoulder strap the silver hardware the rounded handles you can carry it top handle or over the shoulder it is more square than the speedy i think my mom really liked this bag um, but it does have that speedy style to it and you can see the zipper does extend down on the sides creating a more open mouth and it's got this great cd pattern and i believe this is all 
leather. Um, there you can see it with the shoulder strap. And it does have an additional flap that goes over the zipper. There you can see the button where you can connect it and the flap open. Over here you can see the flap a little bit uh, closed there. That did irritate me when I looked at this bag. Um, it reminded me of a long shop and what a headache those bags are with that dang flap coming over the zipper. Um, although I love long shop, um, don't get me wrong, it's a small hassle to deal with. Um, but this bag was similar in that regard. And so I just wasn't too crazy about that. I do think the pattern is beautiful. The quality was beautiful. Um, sure would love to have the money to wear that whole outfit. Although I think that is just too much. Um, having a top, a bottom, and shoes and bag all in the same print. Um, but this is really, really a, a lovely bag. Um, especially for you guys out there that are watching this that may think these other bags are more feminine because they're in the women's section, which I don't uh, agree with. And I stand corrected. This is canvas. Uh, says so right up here. Um, you know, with these canvases, they do feel like leather. So sometimes it is hard, at least for me, to tell the difference. I prefer canvas over leather, actually. Um, but when I was looking at this bag, I was not questioning or studying the materials the bag was uh, was made of. I was more thinking about would this bag work in my collection and would I reach for this and wear it? And I think the answer is no. So that's why I passed on it. But I think it is really unique and interesting and beautiful and a really great alternative if you want the functionality of the Speedy. Now, Dior did used to have a, oh gosh, a, a Boston bag as well, but there's a Dorissimo in front of it. Um, so this has been discontinued. This is a great price, $671 on uh, the Real Real. It does have the older Dior Oblique pattern. So I'm guessing this is a really old bag. Um, this is a 25 comparable style and very similar, if this will show up here, to the tab that's on the non-bandolier bandolier versions of the Louis Vuitton Speedy bag. So this is really close to a Speedy. It does have the leather support straps down along the, the, the front and back and bottom that the Speedy doesn't have. Um, this bag is not for me. Um, I am not crazy about this uh, Dior pattern on it and I would assume spend the money elsewhere. But for those of you that are interested, it's got D's here connecting the handle to the bag, which I think is actually a really cool feature. It is a fabric bag. It's probably not coated. The other Dior I just showed you was definitely coated uh, because coated canvas tends for me to feel more like leather than obviously non-coated fabric bag. You know it's a fabric bag. Um, but I have seen other sizes in this bag as well. And I think even the more standard Dior Oblique that we see more of now, not 100% on that, um, but I did find this in my research. So if you, have, uh, if you love Dior, uh, there are definitely at least two options. You might want to hunt and see if there are additional options. Choice I have here, and for $378 is the Tory Birch Tea Monogrammed, um, I'm sorry, Tea Monogram Peripherated Mini Barrel Bag. Um, this is, um, I think equivalent to the Speedy 20 at about, yeah, 18.5 centimeters. So a little smaller, uh, than the Speedy 20. You can see here on this model, just how tiny, um, this bag is, but it does have the look and the functionality of a Speedy bag with the top handles and the shoulder strap. Um, it looks like it has a uh, nice, uh, leather, on uh, those top handles there and then the Tory Burch print 
uh, throughout. Uh, we can see a couple other pictures here. Um, a little bit of an extended zipper to give a wider opening, which probably is really necessary on a bag this small. Um, there you can see a model wearing it over the shoulder. It does have an interior card pocket um, and protective metal feet. Um, but I think, you know, for the price point, um, if you want the, again, look and style and functionality of a Speedy, uh, this would definitely be a bag to consider. I do think they have it in a couple different options here. Um, so you can see here one in canvas in blue, and then they have one in canvas in black as well. And I believe this is leather. Um, gosh, it's embarrassing that I can't just look at something and tell, um, but it does look to me like it might be smooth leather all throughout. And these other options uh, look to me to be canvas. Um, yeah, that definitely looks and is canvas. Um, but I think that's a really, really pretty bag actually. And I love the blue um, with the gold hardware. Um, that's gorgeous. And at 348, oh, it's coming soon. So this looks like a fairly uh, new bag in the lineup. Perhaps I'm not an expert on Tory Birch at all. Um, but I do think this would be a great, great alternative. And again, you know, you have to do some research before you're considering these different brands. Because if you're paying less for a better quality bag, obviously that is ideal. But if you're paying a little bit more for a much higher quality bag, it is definitely worth it. And again, I'm not an expert on Michael Kors, Coach Outlet, or Tory Burch quality or, or craftsmanship. I know Dooney is great, but those are some things you want to pay attention to when you're making a decision on uh, what brand to go with. You really want the most for your money and the best quality for your money. So here is another option uh, for you to consider. All right, so we are at the near the end of this video finally if you have stayed with me this whole time thank you so much but lastly louis vuitton speedy alternatives louis vuitton so i've got a couple here um, to show you that i consider louis vuitton alternatives that would be the city keep all and the keep all bandolier 25. Um, you can see on the left here a, a regular size keep all in uh, black here and then uh, there's one up in a bean up there or wait i'm sorry that's monogram Ooh, even with my glasses on that's monogram but the the reason i consider these speedy alternatives is because that's how the speedy began if i know what i'm talking about here so what i've heard is that audrey hepburn loved to use the regular keep all this one's the huge one in the 60 size but she loved the keep all bag and she asked Louis Vuitton to make her a smaller version that she could use every day. And that's how the Speedy was born. So to me, the City Keep All and the Keep All Bandolier 25 are great alternatives. So we're going to take a look at the City Keep All first. This is in the monogram Eclipse pattern. So the black and the gray I really want something in Monogram Eclipse. I do not think this is potentially the bag for me. Maybe it is, um, but I'm not there yet to even come close to making a decision. But I wanted to show you this bag. Obviously, a big difference here is there is no top handle. So the City Keep All is a shoulder or crossbody bag only. It does have an extended zipper for a wider mouth opening. And I love the decorative luggage tag. Um, in the reverse eclipse, I guess you would call that, with the gray being the background instead of the monogram pattern. Um, it does look like it has a black interior with just a slip pocket there. And uh, then there you have some more views, a really wide shoulder strap, which I'm not crazy about. And it looks to have an attachment here, which normally they would have that coin purse 
um, as the thing that comes with the bag to attach it. But I don't see anything here indicating that this comes with a coin purse. Um, but you could certainly attach something else up there. But I think this bag just looks really cool, really chic. Um, I've steered away from Eclipse because I don't really typically like black bags. Um, but it's definitely moved up on my radar. Um, so there you have the City Keep All. Now let's take a look at the... Um, bandolier 25 and you can see here's a keep all in bright blue green light blue and here's a leather bandolier 25 with the monogram embossed here's a black city keep all so they have a variety of different colors and different patterns um, this bag would probably be the one I would consider in eclipse um, but I really have to do my research um, to find out what I would really, really like. Um, so we've got 25 centimeters in length. It does look a bit shorter and narrower um, than a speedy 25. There you got that great luggage tag in the reverse again. Um, it does not have an extended zipper, so very much like the keep balls and uh, speedies except for the speedy 20 that does have an extended zipper um, it does not have that extended zipper um, but this is certainly a great alternative um, another bag in the men's side but again i don't see anything feminine about the speedy so or overly masculine about this bag i think uh, this bag could be for anybody, um, but uh, I think it's beautiful. Uh, it's Louis Vuitton. I love Louis Vuitton, but like I said, I'm trying to broaden my collection, so this will be something uh, further on down the radar for me. Um, so there you have it, a Louis Vuitton alternative to Louis Vuitton. All right, so there you have it, my alternative picks to the Louis Vuitton Speedy Bag. I would love, like I said in the intro, to hear your thoughts below. What do you like? What do you not like? Do you know any other alternatives that I have not mentioned that may help other viewers? But, like I've said, if you want the functionality and look of the Speedy Bag, there is an option out there for everyone. So thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy the rest of your weekend. Bye-bye.